guys. Um, welcome to the video, and thanks for clicking on this video. Um, that was the most crappiest intro I've ever done in my life. But anyway, <clears throat> today I'm going to be doing a dance slash gymnastics uh, experience of mine. So yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little bit sick of a little bit of a cough. Anyway, um, let's get started. Okay, so I started uh, dancing slash gymnastics when I was about four or five years old. Um, I, well, the reason why I actually, actually wanted to start was because one of my best, best friends, Vivian, I've mentioned in some other videos, mentioned her, make sure you go check those out as well. She was actually, she actually started dancing when she was about two or three years old. And so she was really great when she was about four or five and six. Um, she could do like cartwheels and she could dance really well. And I wanted that for myself too. So what I did was I went on to uh, my tablet, which is what I'm filming with right now. And I searched up gymnastics slash dance and I found so many videos and the ones I really liked in particular was Seven Gymnastics Girls and that was a lot of fun but anyway I'll get to that in another video um, maybe but back to the topic um, the first skill I actually you know managed to do without breaking my neck was a cartwheel and it was a very crappy cartwheel let me tell you it was like it was horrible. And for me, cartwheels and somersaults and handstands and bridges is something I need to practice or over a long period of time, a period of time, I will forget how to do it. Like, when I was four or five, I learned how to do a cartwheel, right? And then for some reason I stopped doing it. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I got bored of it. I'm not sure. But I stopped doing it and I forgot how to do it. So, yeah, that uh, was not very fun. I had to learn all over again. But the second time, um, I actually learned a little bit faster because I know, you know, like, I have, like, most of, like, the little stretchy thingies. Like, I have the main idea of how to do it. It's mostly a mental block. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically you know how to do the skill, but, you know, you just, you're scared to do it. So yeah, um, and dance, let's talk about dance now, my shirt is really glowing, but anyway, I started dancing when I was about six years old in grade one, um, there was this dance program in my school, and it was Chinese dance, and yes, it was a lot of fun, um, I started in junior dance, and <clears throat> I did, we, uh, um, let me start again, uh, the dance troupe and I, for the juniors, we did this really, really pretty, um, like, ocean, kind of watery dance, it was really traditional, and the costumes, <laughs> um, it was kind of like, it was kind of like this shirt, but it was kind of like the same design, or like, um, what am I talking about? Not the same design, but like the same like cuts. So there was one that was about a tank top, and then one that kind of hang hung over my shoulder, and it just kind of it went to about my elbow, and then just kind of hung down. And it was green. It was really pretty. The pants were basically one leg was green, and then the other was white, but it was the line wasn't really harsh. It was kind of blended green, it was kind of like, like green, light green, even more light green, white, 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 white. So it was really pretty, I really loved it, we also had this, had this really pretty like flower thing in our hair, it was also green. It's actually in my little box, right, there, and if I can find it, I think I will make a video and I'll show you guys actually really pretty and I really love it and but super tiny now in grade five I cannot wear it so yeah and after about one year of that I um <clears throat> I went into
into the senior group, and it wasn't because of how old I was. Um, I was actually only in grade two. I was the youngest at the senior. It was because of my height. Now, I can't really show you how tall my sofa is, but, you know, just imagine it was your sofa. So, your sofa, that, and you put your tablet on it, you're filming, and when I stand up, this is how tall I am. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty tall. Um, I'm a five, two or three, I think. <clears throat> and I'm a fifth grader, so yeah, I know it's a little bit crazy. But, yeah, and <clears throat> I keep coughing, I don't know why. My amazing, amazing, amazing dance teacher, Mabel, was there to help me through, like, learn how to do a cartwheel, and she learned me. Or she not learn me. She helped me with a lot of the skills and like the technique and stuff. And <coughs> last year I was still in dance. I was a senior. And it was really pretty. I don't have the costume with me like anywhere in the house because my teacher Mabel actually wanted to reuse them. So she yeah, she took them back and. <coughs> This year, this school year, very sadly, very unfortunately, um, she does not teach at our school anymore. There's no more dance, uh, like, troops, and there's no kung fu, nothing, and there's no martial arts, there's no drumming anymore because our school's getting renovated, it's pretty old, it's getting renovated, so, yeah. Also, let me head, let's skip back a little bit, step back a bit. When I was about three or two, I took a ballet dance. I only took it for one year because I didn't enjoy it very much. It was not that fun because, you know, when you think about it, like, you, I want to learn ballet. And, like, for me, what I think is, is, like, I want to skip right to the part where I'm super good at it. I can, like, do, like, a billion turns and stuff. But... In reality, in dance, you actually have to, like, go from baby steps up, 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 and you can work your way up to that level. I know this feels a little bit worth it, but still, I kind of just want to go, like, skip right to the part where I, um, you know, have points, shoes, and I can do, like, a billion spins with that, and I'd be like, I can do it. I am awesome. <laughs> That's kind of what I want to do, but I didn't do it, and I kind of want to continue learning ballet, but I am 10, I feel like I'm a little bit too old, and it's going to take me forever to learn anything again, so I'm going to stick with Chinese dance, and yeah, um, as for gymnastics, I actually do most of the gymnastics, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, can't talk today. Um, I actually don't go to gym. I am a self-taught, and I don't know if you consider me a gymnast, but I think if I were to be a gymnast, I think I'd be level five or six. I'm not sure. Um, I have recently hurt my back, so I can't do like bridges. Uh, now, but I'm pretty sure, like, like I was saying, if I don't practice, I forget how to do it, and I haven't done a fallback bridge in, like, forever, so I kind of, I'm a little bit, I have a mental block for fallback bridges now, so it's kind of sad, but anyway, yeah, and for hair and makeup and stuff, I will get to in one second, I just want to say that all, everything, everything, Every gymnastics move is with the help of my dad, my amazing, amazing, amazing dad. He's like, oh no, you can do it, even if I'm scared. He's like, oh yeah, we can try, I'll hold your legs, and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, he's really nice to me. He's... My heater fish tank just went off. Um, yeah, now I'll talk about the hairs about and the makeup stuff for like performances. So my face is kind of really bright, can't really see it very clearly because the couch is right in front of a window and I'm putting 
my tablet on the couch so a lot of light is coming in because I actually just did a video right there in the dining room right there and it was really dark so yeah go check out that video anyway back to the topic I get out of topic like so many times but yeah go back and I for you know just practices I put my hair in a ponytail and just put bobby pins in if needed and I usually always always put my hair in a ponytail I don't like like putting my hair down because like for example cartwheels fallback bridges uh, you can step on your hair and that would not be fun and there's many more reasons but I'm gonna s skip over that because I'm pretty sure you guys know the basics and for I don't really like to do buns I mean there's nothing wrong with them it's just that it takes too long and for some reason I can't do a messy bun it's either doing a fantastic bun or do the crappiest bun on earth. Like, I can't do just a purposely messy bun. It's either I try to do a fantastic bun, or I do the world's crappiest bun. Let me, like, a bun, not, like, take bread and put it on my head. But, yeah, I do use the little donut thingies. I have one right here. I'm going to show you. This is the donut I use. I usually use a big one, but it's the only one I have on hand right now. You can kind of see the hole like that. And you just, all you do is you take your ponytail, however high you want it, you loop it through, and then you kind of take your hair, you tuck it over the outside, and you tuck it, and then you do that, and all that stuff, and it becomes a really pretty uh, donut button. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's all I want to share with you guys for today. Um, sorry I haven't made a video in so long. Um, I'm making two or more videos today um, to kind of make up for all the days that I missed. So you guys still will probably see the same amount of videos. So yeah. Make sure, don't forget to subscribe, either if you're on a computer down there, if you're on a tablet, iPad, or anything like that, up there. So basically, it's either up there or down there. So yeah, make sure you go um, check out the description for like videos and um, yeah, I think for videos, I always check out the description because you know, it might be some extra detail. Not sure what you guys do, comment down below. And today's question is how um, do you have any brothers or sisters? And um, how old are they? And if you don't have any brothers or sisters, um, do you want one? Do you want a brother or sister, a little brother, a little sister? And how much older do you want them to be? Or you know, how old they actually are? or just give me a little bit of description down in the comments below and I'm not sure if every, anyone actually commented on my last video with the last question I'm not sure what it is, I don't remember but um, I'll say it again um, the question of the day is basically a question for this video, every video I do other than the updates because updates I feel like are just like almost like an ad and just like an update you know anyway um, um, if you answer some questions down below, I will try and, um, give them a shout out next video, and I will also tell you guys some, like, some things that not everyone knows about me, so, I'll learn some extra facts, and I'll pick some lucky winners, and I'll just talk with you guys a little bit on, you know, in, 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 the, in the comments section down below. So, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below your answers to the question of the day, or just any video ideas, or, like, a, um, feedback on my videos, my channel, anything you'd like me to do. So yeah, that's it for today. Bye!